Hey, welcome back to my channel, City Boy Farm. And in this video, I'm grafting a tomato plant to a potato plant. Now, usually I always have a positive outcome. Now I'm showing you there's sometimes a negative outcome when it comes to farming and gardening, but that's okay. Um, Cause usually when you garden or doing a little farming, you learn from what you do. So it's like you're learning from your mistakes. So I thought I should put one of my mistakes on here because I try to graph something that I thought I knew what I was doing and it turned out like, but hopefully somebody in the video or, or just in the YouTube world can show me what I did wrong or tell me what I did wrong and help me out. I really greatly appreciate you for watching this video. So enjoy. <laughs> As promised, I am here to give you a graphing video. So I'm here to graph this particular um, big boy tomato plant to this potato plant. You see what I'm doing here? This potato plant will help grow this big boy tomato plant. So let's get started. So welcome back to my channel, City Boy Farming. And in this video, we're graphing tomato plants with potato plants now YouTube this is what I have right here is a graphing tool I got off of Amazon it comes with rubber bands to hold up the plant it comes with your tape to hold the plants together got some gloves and also what is it not happy happy I just oh that's just a review some gloves screwdrivers to take off the um, graphing plate and so it let you know the size so that's just that size this is like the Omega size um, and it's another one comes with I believe five or four it comes with this to loosen up to tighten it up and loosen it um yeah it comes with everything you need to do I, I advise you to actually actually watch videos on graphing and what what is graphing really for it's like skin graphing but this is for plants um so yeah let's get started so this is how the graphing tool works I want to place it right there and see if it fits and it's a perfect fit so that way it'll break it off and split it in the middle then i will go to my tomato plant and figure out the same situation so i want to figure out which one i want to take off so i'm thinking i want to take off somewhere right along here and once i do that i'm show you what that looks like and then i will have to give you an update because i want to actually see if this is properly on properly uh i guess graft it together so bear with me on that one uh youtube it's about to get interesting okay so i got it nice and grafted on well this is what it looks like and that's what that one looks like so we're gonna place it on there just like that and now it's time to get some tapes this is how this tape works you just wrap it around to be nice and snug, and then it should heal itself together. All right, that should be good. Yeah, that should be good, and give a wrap around what it looks like. So this, this remember, this is the tomato, and under it is the potato, and you can see some flowering's already occurring. So I'm gonna give you an update, probably tomorrow or later on today to let you see what it looks like. In the meantime, that's pretty much it on how I graft it. So the actual grafting happens about right here. Boom, mm -hmm. keep going. But we started the tape down here and ended it up here. So that way, now that we put most of the tape in here, but with the starting the tape down here, it gave the rest of this some strength once you got into the middle and ending it up here, or at least going up to here and then start ending it in the middle again, it just gave it more strength to stay on and be held up. Yeah. Hope that yeah. makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I will give you an update on this video. All right, y'all. I am here with the next update of the graphing. Look at this. Oh, this is this is very shameful. I'm assuming that there was no water flow or liquid flowing through the potato plant to the tomato plant. So I'm going to try another graph. It might be a smaller one. See what I can get out of it. 
So you're supposed to trim the leaves off of it too, but I don't think I did a good job. It's probably too much energy being wasted. Um, so I will try again, and I'm, I will get it to work next time. But hey, <sighs> second time to try. Okay, let's try doing this again because I think the first time the first time I did it was a disaster on how I graphed it. So I'm trying to graph it a different way and try a different method. Uh, so we're gonna have to find us a nice size, a nice size, and I feel like this one will be it. Y'all you know, wish me luck, but pray for me. I'd rather for you to pray. For me. So we're gonna try it. this. This look good right here. Let's see, let's go look at the tomato. Um, so we can do this. So let's bring this out here. And when I say this, with that, I probably found one a little bit bigger. In the meantime, boom, I found it. The perfect one. And so what I'm going to do is cut all these leaves off. Just one, two, and three one down here two and three and then i'm gonna do the same thing with this tomato plant first i'm gonna graph it okay i did it but look at it like it's already done uh so anybody got any suggestions i please i will be grateful for any advice but this one like it's dying but I speak life into it in Jesus' name. And this one, that one crumbled up. So this is the first one I did, and I just did this one today. So maybe it's just because it's been out of range with connected to a plant. Uh, any advice, if anybody ever grafted tomatoes to a potato plant, please let me know. Uh, I tried. So third time's the charm, hopefully. We just pray for this plant to survive. I'm messing up my potato plant. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I can't say if this video was very helpful. If you was looking for, if you can grab the tomatoes to a potato plant, um, I hope this was very. What's the word? Informational, I guess. Very helpful for you. If you was ever to try this, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you like the video. I you know what? Yeah, hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And press that uh, notification bell button if you want more updates on my video. Again, this is City Boy Farming. Peace.